Hi there. Okay, I've recently upgraded all the fluorescent lamps in my flat. Um, the the upgrade that I've done to them is they have changed the the starters in them to electronic starters. As you can see, the, they're still using the traditional magnetic induction coil ballast, and the reason behind why I, I did not change all the ballast in them to electronic ballast is because that would require significant um, a significant amount of rewiring and this isn't actually um, a flat that I uh, I own um, I'm just uh, renting it so um, I, 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 just, I didn't want to go through trouble of, of doing that okay so here uh, some starters, uh, just uh, fluorescent lamp starters. So these two here are your traditional um, starters that you find in most fluorescent lamps. These ones here are electronic uh, starters. Um, this one here is a transparent body, so um, I'm not sure if you can see on the camera, but. It's actually a circuit board in there with some components. You can see some transistors and capacitors in them. Okay, so uh, the advantages of electronic of using electronic starters are uh, for one day um, prolong the life of the fluorescent tubes, and number two, uh, which may not be much of a concern indoors. Uh, is is that they are able to start lamps in very very cold conditions, even in sub zero uh, temperatures. So if you have a fluorescent lamp in your garage during winter, that would be quite uh, it would be quite helpful to uh, have them upgraded to um, f uh, electronic starters. And um, the 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 one benefit that m most people get from this. Um, electronic starters is that they light the lamp up the first time every time so th um, they won't flicker before um, before they uh, light up so they they, f they, they light up uh, the, the first time every time um, with the first firing um, the only trick um, in using electronic starters is that you have to read um, the label on them carefully because some of them are only made for single lamp circuits like this one here it's a single lamp circuit so you can't use this for um, a dual lamp circuit like this one there are actually two dual lamp circuits here uh, so four starters in total but no you can't use electronic starters that that read single lamp circuits um, on on these ones. Um, there are some electronic starters designed specifically for twin lamps, like this one here. So this will light a twin lamp uh, uh, fluorescent lamp circuit. Or um, what you can do is you you don't have to um, get two of these for a twin lamp circuit. You can just use one of these and one of these single lamp ones uh, for twin lamp circuit so you can use use them in pairs like this but if your twin lamp circuit it's best just to get get two of these all together um, so I'm going to do a quick demonstration of um, how they work so I'm going to um, install these starters in, in this lamp right now. There are no starters in there now because I've started them before re removing starters so let me do that and I'll be back. Okay this is the light in my uh, kitchen once again. Um, I normally only have two of them, uh, two of the tubes connected because um, it, they are they're bright enough to illuminate the kitchen and it helps me save half of the energy of, of what a, uh, the, the whole installation would otherwise consume. So I've only got two starters installed in, in there for the two tubes on the far right. 
Um, so I'm going to flick the switch on now and as you will notice uh, the lamps won't flicker, they will fire up the first time every time um, so what you probably see is one lamp fire up following by the second um, so uh, I'm just going to flick the switch now and you'll see they go one, two First time in my time. bedroom. Thanks for watching. I have a single tube circuit fluorescent lamp. So um, the the starter in this one has also been changed to electronic starter. So once again, turn it on. It fires the first time without flickering. Thanks for watching.